Hello, this is Alex Eames from raspi.tv. Okay, so today it's measurement time. Yesterday, the Raspberry Pi Model A Plus was launched, and you probably will have seen my walk around video of that. Now it's time to make some power measurements and see how it stacks up against the Model B Plus and against the old Model A. It should be better than both of them, but let's have a look. We're going to use the trusty E-meter again, like we did in the Model B Plus video, and we're going to test it using the camera, and we're going to push it and see how much current we can make it draw. Also, I'm going to be using a bench power supply, which is powering the shunt that's connected to the E-meter. So the other end of this cable goes to my bench power supply, which is set at 5.2 volts. So first off, I'm going to hook up the Model A Plus itself and we're going to put it through its paces and see how much juice it uses, see how many, how many milliamps it takes doing various things. Then we'll have a look at the B Plus and the old Model A as well, doing the same things. Okay, so we've got the E-meter connected to the bench power supply, which is at 5.2 volts, current limited to 1 amp. That's powering the micro USB and the HDMI output of the A plus is connected to the HDMI Pi. And the only other thing that's plugged in is a keyboard dongle for this little portable keyboard that I'm using in the workshop. So now I'm going to hit the button on the bench power supply and we should see the A plus boot up before our very eyes. We should also see a nice readout of how much current it's taking. At the moment 0.13 amps, so that's 130 milliamps on boot. So we just let it boot and stabilize and log in. So 100 milliamps and that's exactly the same on the bench power supply. 0.10 amps it shows on the bench PSU so that agrees which is nice so we'll log in I wonder if I can type the password correctly hurrah okay that's great so now we'll do a test booting LXDE and see what happens there 0.13 at the moment on both so that's booted nice and quickly and then it stabilizes back down to 0 0.10, so 100 milliamps idling with LXDE loaded. Great, now let's see, have we got any media? We do, excellent. Let's have a little see what happens when you push the GPU, see if that uses more juice. Not point one three to not point one four. Hundred and forty milliamps. Okay, I don't think that's going to change. We don't need to watch the whole Big Buck Bunny. So the next thing to do will be to power it down again, connect the camera, and then see what happens when we are using the camera, because that uses quite a lot of juice too. Okay, so now we've got the camera plugged in, and we are going to boot the Pi again, the A+, Plus, with the camera plugged in, and we'll see what happens when we are filming. So booting now, and it's using 130 milliamps while booting on both, flickering 130, 140 while booting. Okay, I'll log in. It's stabilized at 100 milliamps.
and it's still at 100 milliamps. Okay, so it's um, Raspberry Vid dash T, and then we'll give it that should be 30 seconds, which would be more than enough. And it should have a film of the ceiling. I'll just put my hand there. Never mind what's actually filming because that's irrelevant. What we're interested in is the current draw, which is 0.23 amps on the E-meter. The bench PSU is fluctuating a bit more than that, between 0.2 and 0.3. But mostly, so the E-meter is averaging that, obviously. So we're talking, and it's stopped now, stabilised back down to 100 milliamps. Okay, so it uses about 0 0.24, 0 0.24 amps, 240 milliamps when it's filming with the camera, and about 100 milliamps when it's idling, and about 130, 140 milliamps when it's showing 1080p video. That's with nothing apart from a keyboard dongle plugged in. Okay, so we have our figures. Great. Time to do the same with the B+. Alright, now we're going to do the same with the B+. We're going to power that up. Uh, it's exactly the same things connected to it. So I'm going to power that up and we'll compare. So it's taking about 0 0.23 amps, 230 milliamps while booting. And that's fairly stable on both the E meter and the bench power supply. We log in. And it's stabilized at. 0 0.20 amps, which is 200 milliamps. Okay, let's see what happens when we boot LXDE. 0 0.23, 0 0.24, flickering between the two. Okay, now that's loaded, that's stabilized at 0 0.20. Excellent. So we'll see what happens when we show, hopefully the command's still there from last time. There we go. If we just show a little bit of Big Buck Bunny to push the GPU, went too five. Bench power supplies flickering between two, three, two and two, five. And the E-meter's fairly stable. At Point two three two four. So that's with the GPU being pushed. Now we'll shut down and try the camera again. So now we're going to boot up the B plus again with the camera and just do a quick comparison on the E meter. And just to see, but so far it looks as if the B plus uses about 100 milliamps more than the A plus. That'll be mainly because of the existence of this network chip. Okay, so it's stabilized at 200 milliamps. Login goes up to about 2.30. Okay, let's see if that command is still there to shoot some video. So at the moment we're at 200 milliamps. While shooting video, it goes up to 0.32 on the E meter, and the bench PSU is fluctuating a bit. Wait for the camera. 
So yeah, we're talking 0 0.32. 0.32 amps, 320 milliamps for the B plus with the camera shooting video. Okay, we'll shut that down and we'll have a go with the Model A. So we've got all the set of readings in one session on the same equipment. Okay, so this is the Model A readings. This is an original Model A and we are going to boot that now and see how much current it takes. 130 milliamps, 140, 190 you've peaked there. 190 again. Yeah, so somewhere between 170 190 milliamps while booting. And then it stabilizes before login at about 140. I think I got my password wrong. Come on. Okay. So we will start the GUI. LXDE. And that's stabilized at 140 again. All right, big buck bunny time. Goes up to 170 while it's busy. See what happens when when we push the GPU a bit. Peaked at 240, and now it's stabilised around 200 milliamps. So it's fluctuating a bit, but it's something between. 170 to 200 milliamps, sometimes going slightly over. All right, let's do the camera and then we have a complete set. Now it's Model A with the camera and I'm going to power it up. So we've got 0 0.14, 140, 190 milliamps on boot. Yeah, it's pretty stable actually. Okay, let's log in. So it's stabilized at 140 milliamps after login. Okay, let's run the camera. Hello. Right. 310 milliamps with the camera shooting video. Oh, you can see, look, there's one of my one of my planes in the background. That's called a pushy cat. It's quite a nice one. Three hundred and twenty, three hundred and ten. Bench supplies jumping around a little. Okay. So now we have our full set of measurements and I'll make a table and put that on the video and then we'll see what's to be done. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.